The one thing that I think I, I, I would put a kind of asterisk next to what you just said is I agree that the election denying stuff got spanked in, in this, but Trump himself is in a different category because I mean, my, my Twitter feed includes a lot of conservatives, conservative journalists, pundits from the kind of reasonable anti-Trump center right all the way over through to the more extreme Trumpist factions. And except for the pro-Trumpists, the really committed people, pretty much everyone is furious at Trump for yesterday and ecstatically wanting DeSantis to take him down and destroy him. And I'm very sympathetic to that. I, I would not vote for DeSantis in an election, but but I would vastly prefer him to Trump as the nominee in two years. I think it would be much better for the country to have DeSantis over Trump. But I still don't see how we get there because Trump's support is not rational. These are not people, and they're a lot. They're roughly 50% of Republicans. They are not wedded to Trump in a way that will enable them to be sit sat down by the editors at National Review and say, you know, if you think about it, clearly you might love this Trump guy, but he's a drag. And in the general election, he's the only Republican who can lose. And we need DeSantis because DeSantis can win. You don't have a conversation like that with a Trump supporter at this point. I don't think you even could in 2016, but the number of people who support him has grown since then. And they are not wedded to him for like electoral calculus reasons. They are wedded to him because they like a politics of telling the other side to go fuck off. And that's it. That's all that matters to them. The, the biggest fuck off imaginable is what they want. And and I still am very skeptical that either that DeSantis has the cojones to pull off standing uh, up to Trump toe to toe and put him down. And then even if he did have the guts in the end, I don't know that he has the political skill to pull it off. Trump is really good. What if they stand up there on a debate stage. And again, who knows how soon there would be a debate. You know, Trump says he's going to jump into the race tomorrow. And I don't think DeSantis can do that when he just won re-election as governor of Florida. I don't think he can spend the next two years running for president already. He has to wait a couple of months, right? At least. Um, what is, how does he respond when Trump stands up there and says to him the equivalent of what he said to Ted Cruz? Yeah, you know, your your father killed JFK and your wife is ugly. I mean, just the most gut level, visceral, ugly, personalized insult to his face. How does DeSantis respond to that? DeSantis, I think, is a very skilled politician. He's really good at it. He's figured out more than anyone else how to be a normal Republican politician with the content switched out for Trumpian populism. And he does that. But you know who can do that kind of thing really well is Carrie Lake. Now, she's someone who can stand up on a stage and come up with zingers and insults and just respond instantly in real time in a way that shows a true kind of demagogic talent. I don't believe that DeSantis can be a demagogue without, if you will, if you will, without a teleprompter telling him how to do it.